What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the first thing you have to do if your iPhone microphone is not working. Let's go. All right guys, there's a lot of different ways to get that fixed, but today I'm gonna be showing you a few of them. So the first thing you gotta do, let's go ahead and open the settings on your iPhone. Settings, then scroll down until you see privacy. Privacy and security. Let's go ahead and click on that. Then scroll down until you see microphone. Uh, right here, microphone. And as you can see, none of the apps have access to the microphone. So if I try to turn on the setting right here for this app to get access to the microphone, it doesn't let me do it because this section is completely disabled. So basically the microphone on this iPhone is not working, but it's a iOS so far issue. Let me show you how to get a fix. In your case, guys, if you have, you know, if you can turn on this setting right here, you are having another issue, okay? I will show you how to get a fix too. But now, if you're having this problem on your iPhone, let's go to the main page to get a fix. Then let's go ahead and open the settings. Then scroll down until you see screen time. So let's go ahead and tap on that setting, screen time. Then scroll the way down until you see content and privacy restrictions. Let's go ahead and tap on that setting. Then scroll all the way down until you see microphone. Let's go ahead and tap on microphone. And as you can see, guys, right now, don't allow changes. So basically, non apps are allowed to use the microphone on this iPhone. So just switch that setting to that one. Allow changes and you will see. Now you can turn on the microphone setting on each app. Even if you go back, let's go to the main page. Let me show you now. Let's go ahead and open the settings. Scroll down until you see uh privacy mm, privacy right here let's go ahead and tap on that setting then let's go ahead and tap on microphone should be microphone right here so as you can see now you can turn on the setting for each app to have access to the microphone before you couldn't but now you can do it you see so i think that will get your problem fixed you know that was the issue on your iphone now like i said in the beginning if you have you know if you can turn on this setting on each app on your iPhone, you are having another problem. So look what you have to do. Remove the case from your iPhone. Now, the microphone of your iPhone is located right here on the bottom. Sometimes when you put your iPhone on your pocket, it gets dust, guys. It's just a little hole. So all you gotta do just clean it. You need a toothbrush, just like that. Toothbrush and you're gonna clean it up. By doing that, you are cleaning those holes, including the speaker holes, guys. Actually, it's going to fix the, you know, the microphone. And also your iPhone speaker is going to be louder because we, we are supposed to do this every two weeks, every month, honestly, to keep, you know, our phone working perfectly. Just do that like that. So after you think those holes are clean, just try to use your iPhone microphone to see if now it's working. Just make a call to see if now it's working a hundred percent so that's the second thing you gotta do to get the iphone microphone fixed okay if your iphone is still got the same problem let's try this let's open the safari then long press right here this little square in this corner long press down until you see these actions okay then let's go ahead and close all the tabs on your safari guys close all 17 or 20 or 30 what you know all depends how many pages you have open your safari uh, browser let's close all of them and that's because sometimes some website start using the microphone and never release them when you stop using the website okay so just make sure you close all the pages on the safari browser that will possibly fix any issue microphone on your iphone another solution to that guys can be this one so we're gonna force restart the iphone that will fix any, you know, that will fix most of the problem with the iOS system. So to do that, press and quickly release the volume up, press and quickly release the volume down, then press and hold down the power button until your iPhone turn off. Let's do it. Volume up, volume down, power button. Okay, keep holding down the power button until your iPhone turn off. That called force restart. So... Once you see the Apple logo on the screen, you can release the power button. Now you can release the power button. Guys, that's something really good to fix any issue on your iPhone. Like if you're having microphone issue, um, screen, speaker, volume up, any issue on your iPhone, 
you have to force restart your iPhone. That will disconnect any part of the iPhone, you know what I mean? And reconnect. That's something, it's magic, guys. Just try that to see if that can, you know, get your issue fixed. Now, just in case if you still got the same problem, you have to factory reset your iPhone. Factory reset your iPhone. To do that, open the settings, scroll down, general, scroll the way down, transfer or reset iPhone. Then right here, let's go ahead and click on reset or contents and setting. Don't do it yet, okay? First of all, you have to make sure everything was backed up on your iPhone. For that, Let's go ahead and open the settings. Let's go to your iCloud account. Then let's go ahead and click on iCloud. Then right here, iCloud backup. Let's go ahead and click on that. And right here, guys, just connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, if you never have Wi-Fi, just make sure you have the setting on cellular data. But I recommend you to do it with Wi-Fi. That's because now you're going to install a new backup on your iPhone and that will take a long time if you use mobile data, okay? Use Wi-Fi. Then let's go ahead and click on backup now. Right here, you can see the last backup you did on your iPhone. And if it was a long time ago, just click on backup now. As you can see, use cellular data. It will take a long time, guys, like 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours. It really depends on your internet speed. Okay, after the back of finish, let's go ahead and open the settings, scroll down until you see general, then scroll the way down until you see transfer or reset iPhone. Then let's go ahead and click on erase all content and settings. And just follow the steps, really easy. But guys, just make sure you didn't receive any error on your iCloud account backup, okay? Because sometimes you have a lot of stuff on your iPhone internal storage and your iCloud account storage is not just doesn't have enough space to back up everything. Just make sure you have everything on your iCloud account. Sometimes I recommend to people to open the browser and sign in with the iCloud account and make sure you got everything on your iCloud account before reset your whole iPhone okay just make sure to do that guys if you need any help with that just let me know in the comment um that's it for today guys and I hope this video was the secret to help you out to fix your iPhone so like I said if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell notification that way you will not miss any another episode